Good morning, everyone. It is not as cold as what I was expecting it to be outside today. Um, today is my observation day. I uh, always get nervous leading up to observation. Once I get in there, I'm fine. I'm cool with it. Like, I'm okay. But it's leading up to the observation that I'm like, did I play in this? Did I do this? Do I have this? Do I, are they going to be good? <laughs> It's all of those feelings combined. No matter if you've been teaching one year, two years, five, 20, we all still get ner nervous because somebody's coming in and they're criticizing your work, which is hard to take sometimes. Like I'm out here in a, without a jacket, that's pretty easy to do. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go uh, Say good morning to the little guy, which I think my husband's got him up and dressed. And then we're gonna go. Hey, baby. Hello. Who? Where is he? <laughs> is that funny? funny. He's funny. Do, do, do. He found him. Do, do, do. Oh, I stuck. <laughs> How'd you get yourself stuck in that? A See, you're silly, Austin. How is it, how are you stuck in a spiral? I don't know. Are you? Is he silly? He is. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, say goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's go. I wish it was Friday. <laughs> don't start that yet. You gotta wait till at least Wednesday. <laughs> Love you too. You ready to go? Come on. <sighs> okay. I almost thought that that was somebody like standing back there behind me for some reason. It's been a day. I am done with my observation. I am very excited. I think it went really well. The kids did a phenomenal job just behavior wise and they were so good. I was so excited with how great they were. So um, <clears throat> I am exhausted and I am getting ready to go home because I feel like today was just such a a crazy day for me so I'm getting ready to go home I'm gonna sum up really quick what I did for my lesson so my principal came in um, we had a discussion during one of my breaks and he kind of wanted me to talk him through what it was that he was gonna come in and see so I did that let me sit you guys down hold on we sat down and we kind of talked about what it was that he was gonna be seeing and I watched him through it when he came in we were in the middle of writing so they were working on a writing assignment with like giving details to match a topic. So we're in informational writing. So right now they're doing key details, or not key details, I'm sorry. They're doing details to match a topic. So they're just writing down all kinds of things. The topics that we went with are like friends. So we know a lot about like friends or slumber parties or how to be a good friend, that type of thing. So that's kind of what we incorporated. And uh, they were working on that. They knew that when they were finished with that, they were supposed to move on to an independent writing piece. So they started working on that. Now some of my kids do it on the iPad. Some of them do it on paper. It just depends on the kids. So he came in, sat down. I was working with individual conferences with my students and as soon as they were coming to my table, we kind of went with their guiding question that we did, um, that we do with conferences. And then I pretty much just asked them, you know, what are you working on? How's things going? Discussed about different books and how their writing was going. We looked at a goal that they were gonna do and moved them on. I had actually one kid that was missing, so I only had three conferences to go through, which was kind of nice. So I kind of took my time with it. Um, and then, after that, we took everybody back to the carpet. So we sat down at the carpet. We kind of summed up what it was that we were doing in writing. And I had the kids share out what it was that they were doing. So we shared those out, we went over it, and then we kind of, I led them into reading. And I said, you know, these are the things that you could be working on. I'm gonna be pulling some groups. There will be one group that you have the option to be able to come and join if you feel like you need that extra information. So that's what we did. And uh, when I went out for groups, I had a couple of kids that wanted, that had like more questions, like they kept asking questions of what it was that they were supposed to be doing. So I told the kids, I was like, listen, I understand that you have more questions. I will be more than happy to discuss these questions with you. Like once we are actually, you know, 
I can get everybody pushed off and working. So once everybody got working, I met with a couple of kids because they did have additional questions and got them going on their work. And then I sat down at my table and got rolling with my, my lesson itself. So the lesson was I gave them their target, their learning target, which I can show you all that. Hold on. Okay, so every lesson I always started off with um, a learning target. And I did this um, just like in kindergarten. I write it in blue and then I write the actual verb of what it is that they are doing in red. So we went over this. And from there, I talked to them about a uh, reading that we were going to do. So I had my reading up here. You can see I had my sticky notes to be able to tell me where it was I was going. Had my reading up here. Again, with my I can statement. And then as I went through and I just told them that I wanted to model what it was that I was thinking in my head, I was always going through this passage. For me, this was like a really big lesson on just modeling. So I modeled for them what I was doing. And I said, okay, when I went through and I started highlighting things and I said, you know, I feel like these things are very similar because they're talking about preparing for Christmas and I'm making connections because this is how I prepare for Christmas. And then I bubbled in that word. I don't know if you can see it. It's like with a green highlighter. Um, <clears throat> And then as I went through, I started finding other things that were in purple and it talked about traditions. And I said, well, there are some other traditions. And I know that this is a tradition. Having an advent calendar is a tradition. So I just very much so modeled this entire lesson for them. After I did that, then I gave, I gave the partners a bag like this. And what I did was I literally took those that I had last night inside of this paragraph where I took those details and I typed them out. And I typed them out into these little bitty squares. And so what they had to do, and let me set you down, and what they had to do was they had to take these out and I literally hid the paragraph so that they couldn't see it. And then I, they had to discuss with their person in their groups and look at what was similar because we were looking at the details and the similarities between these details. Um, and really I wanted them to be able to see that some of them were preparations and some of them were traditions. So once they did that, I brought back out, I was like, remember when in writing, when we were talking about giving details to a fact or an idea here? This right here would be your idea. I was like, if you were to think about this as a big idea, what would these represent? And they were like, oh, preparations. When I did this, and I was like, well, what about this one? They said, oh, it's their traditions. So they were able to start pulling up the key ideas. So I don't know if you can see it all the way back here. I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to get up. Um, but on my board, we did informational, we had topic, key ideas, and then details. I'm almost doing it backwards if you think about it. Like I'm doing details first and then I'm creating key ideas from those details. So that's what they were doing um, with this and I'm zooming out. That's what they were doing with this. When they were finished with this, talking about it with partners and us discussing it they were then to go back and they had one on a different country here they had to go back read it and then they were to point out six details and then put it onto our Schoology site so we can discuss it for the next small group so it's just I felt it was a really great lesson um, I thought it went pretty well because they had that aha moment <clears throat> and I feel like having that aha moment is like the best feeling mom ever. Like when the kids go, oh, and they make those connections and you're like, done, they figured it out. So it was a fantastic lesson. I was very proud of them. They did work very hard. Um, so now I'm exhausted and I'm ready to go. And that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I will see you guys whenever I get home to, and I gotta go pick up my baby. So I'm gonna go pick up my baby. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but look at where our elf was. I feel like he knew that I was gonna get observed and really wanted to make sure that he was looking at everybody. Love him. So Blaine doesn't wanna come and open up his advent calendar. Ew. We're waiting on Blaine. Blaine! Blaine! <sighs> Ian, you're gonna open up his because he doesn't wanna open it. Uh. It's evening, we're a little late on this. We're dragging today. I'm tired for my observation and I was talking with Mr. G for a little bit, so that took up some time. 
Oh, now he hears me. Let's go! Oh. Come on! Huh? Almost all of his is the same size. Ready? Hold on. What is what is today? Day six. What is day? Day six. Is it day six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So now we're on day six. Here's day six right here, Blaine. There. Yeah. Ah. Exactly. Okay. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, this dude's Yay. huge. I didn't know this dude was huge. Is he that? Is he really big? What is he? Ooh, very cool. Do you want some help? No, I got it. You got it. Hey, I got it. This? No, right here. Look. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, Blaine. What's it? <gasps> Thomas. Thomas. Oh, you already got Thomas. That's not Thomas. Yes, I got. Yes, it is. Can yeah. you get it? Yeah. You gotta use your superpowers, kid. Maybe. Can you get it out, Blaine? Kids. Kids. Got it. Let me see. Who are two? Let me see. Who are two? Blaine, let me see. Who are two? No. Let me see. Tennis. Oh. He's so cute. Oh, we got day seven. He's so cute. It's Daddy Tennis. Daddy Tennis. What did Ian give Rick get? Um, two letters. Wow. There he is. Water. Very cool. Ah! It's you. Yeah! It's you. <laughs> Yay! Ow! A chicken. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. Chicken! It's not a chicken! Well, it's kind of a chicken. Chicken! Actually, it's kind a chicken. of a chicken. He's a chicken. Yeah, he's a chicken. Come, hey, don't eat the chicken. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Were you excited to get that one? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know he was that big. He's super big. <laughs> What's this? Tennis. Yeah. What? Wow. Wow. So cool. Are you excited? Tennis. That kind of looks like Thomas. I don't know. The blue tennis. This is blue tennis. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> Say bye. No, bye. Where? Where? Huh? Where? What? Nada. Say goodbye. See you, Lordy. See you, You are. Do you have no pants on? See you, Lordy. Shake your booty. Where'd Blaine go? <laughs> Blaine. <gasps> go put PJs on. Blaine. No! <laughs> you're like, you're like out of the exorcist. <laughs> Say goodnight. <laughs> Say goodnight. Night. Night. Oh, okay, so I am <laughs> so beyond tired. I had total plans to do way more vlogging than what I did, but I am now taking the whole teacher tired to a whole new level called observation tired <laughs> because I have, I think it was like a combination of stress and then I did not get a lot of sleep last night because I was thinking about the observation. like. I don't know how else to explain it, but I am so exhausted. Like, I've literally just been sitting around laying in bed with my kids and doing nothing else. So, I'm so sorry that this vlog was really, really awful. Um, I feel like the observation itself went pretty well. I um, did get the chance to talk with my principal at the very end of the day. He told me that he would have liked to see more of... Um, turn in talks and that type of thing. I had partner discussions. I had the kids kind of discussing, discussing thing, discussing, discussing things like amongst themselves. Like, um, so they were talking when they were in partners and when we were sharing things out, I had other kids that were adding on information to what somebody else was saying. Um, but I didn't really give them a lot of time to turn and talk 
Um, and I have a few reasons as to why I did that. Um, one of those is because it's small group. And um, to be honest, like, as teachers, we totally know that the time that we have is very limited. And I felt like if I continued to add on, you know, all of those great skills that, you know, we can definitely use as teachers with turn and talks and with scaffolding, he is crazy. He was like scaffolding and all of these other just strategies that schools give us. Uh, my lesson would go from like 15, 20 minutes to like a 30 minute lesson. And then I'd have no time for my other group. Like I was pushing it to get to my other group with the lesson that I already had. So um that kind of came into play there and I also was just doing a lot of the modeling today because it was very new to them but I can totally see it like while I was modeling maybe I would have had them like turn and talk and say well what is it turn to a partner and tell them what exactly I was thinking and having having them discuss that way so that could have been a really easy way for me to incorporate that and I just didn't think of it at the time so if you are what is that do you guys see that right there? That's crazy. Is that my throat? Right here. Um, but I also had at certain times where I, um, I lost train of thought because this, what is that? Do you guys see that? Am I going crazy? Like, is that the camera? Do you guys see something there? Please let me know <laughs> down in the comments. I'm not really sure. Um, but I I mean, there's definitely always room for improvement when teaching. So um, definitely be thinking about some of that if you are if you are coming to observation time or you are getting observed this year or whatever it is, make sure that you're incorporating something where kids are actually discussing things amongst them share themselves and sharing things out. So always room for improvement. No one is ever gonna be absolutely perfect when they do their lessons. So um, I have to fill out, I think, four questions. What I might do is just put my little man to bed this evening and then sit in bed, answer those questions, and be done with it so that I can, um, go in the morning and just kind of get some things done. I definitely need to clean because my room was left semi a mess because I was exhausted and I was ready to go. So I left and my room was a mess. So I'm going to do some, like, major cleaning tomorrow. I don't think I have anything else other than that going on. Tomorrow is a day three on my schedule, which means I think I have vertical team. And I think I would, instead of doing vertical, I would rather be able to do some collabing with um, Google Classrooms. So I might just try to plan on doing that. Okay, so I'm going to really quick open up my advent calendar because I haven't done my own advent calendar. And... Uh, Yes. Oh, we did start on our parent calendar. Wow, that light is bright. Um, we did start on our calendars for our parents today. That was exciting. So they got to decorate the cover of it and they did January for drawing at an image and they're going to continue on with that the next couple of days. I'm planning on doing one of these with my class to put their ornaments up there so they're going to get to ah, decorate a little scene for their ornament. So that's something I am planning. I hear him coming. Oh my gosh. Okay. Really quick, I'm gonna open up my advent calendar. I've like screwed it up. It looks awful now because I've destroyed day five. Okay, here it is. So now we are on, let's see, day six. Oh. Y'all might think that I'm just the most ridiculous person because I straight up cannot open up an advent calendar for the love of me. Ooh, that's pretty. This thing, this calendar is super glittery. She is all about the glitters. That's pretty. Let's try it. That might be actually pretty to do with like a color underneath it maybe? I don't know. You would have to lay it on rather thick. That's, that's kind of cool. I like it, but I wouldn't do it on all my nails. I'd probably just do it on one, but it's pretty. There you go. Little glitters in your lives. Tanya Burr is all about the glitter. Love it. Mm. I wasn't really thinking when I went on ahead and put this stuff on there. 
Now I got glitter all over my thumb. Although it does look really pretty right there. I don't know. Okay, anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. So, um, overall the day went really well. I mean, I'm very tired from it. I will tell you that. I, I guess it was just a combination of stress and not getting enough sleep last night. So, yes, I need to go to bed. And so I'm going to go and say goodnight to my guys, read them their story. Ooh, let's pick a story together. Here we go. Let's do that. I have... Oh, I love the mitten. One of some of my favorite ones. These I love to do in December with Jan Brett. So we research Jan Brett as an author. Um, we look up information on her and then we create, we go through and we um, compare and contrast some of her different stories that are very similar. Um, and yeah, that's what we do with this story. I absolutely love it. It's been well loved. Like there are pages that are straight up coming out of it. Look. So. This is the book that we are going to read tonight. Yay! Well, like I said, I'm really sorry that the vlog was kind of semi-short. I hope you were able to get some really good information of how I actually went about doing my lessons. And... Yes, I think it went well. I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys up to date on my observation and how everything went. I'm going to go through and kind of score myself. So, we'll see. I hope that you guys are having a really, really great week. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Well, by the time you're watching this, it's Wednesday. <laughs> but I, I will be having my Wednesday tomorrow. Um, and so, yes. Hump day. Woo! All right, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And that's it. Bye. <gasps> Yay! Come on. Bring Thomas. Bye. Get Thomas up. Let's go, Thomas. My shorty. Bring your puppy up. Oh my goodness gracious, we're taking forever. Okay, come on. Ian, Wait, get up so you I did my car. Okay, sit down. I like how your dad hypes you up and then leaves. House. Give me house. Yeah, come on, lay down. Oh. All right, here we go. You ready? Yes. The mitten. Ian. Isn't this one of our favorite stories? I love this story. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba. I'm going to keep Hey! What's that doing here? decided to move into the mitten and I warm himself. The mole and the rabbit here. were bumped and jostled, but here. not being once to argue my with someone covered with prickles, here. they made room. Mommy, my horse is here. Uh, Meyer. 
Alright, All right, I'm putting him in the bed for real. Bling. You're gonna get in trouble. Get in bed. Get in bed. Tuck your feet as in. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared Tuck into your the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, huh? the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog Stop. grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Hey. Oh, hey. in my car. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl, owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Good night. Say good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Not fun, Good night.